As students at Citrus College, I can almost guarantee we all came here for one thing, that associates. Everybody probably goes to a junior college for an associate's degree. It's a nice two-year degree, it looks good, gets you better jobs. Some of us will even transfer to a, a four-year university where we go pursue a bachelor's. This is the hard part. The easy part should be retirement. Everybody works, so that can't be helped. But one thing that can be helped is a retirement plan. As of now, Social Security is a generally accepted go-to retirement plan available for Americans everywhere. Everybody pays into it with the FICA tax and everybody should be able to pull out of it once they hit the retirement age. However, Social Security is actually running dry. So you might have to say goodbye to that worry for your retirement if you're thinking about Social Security. Today, I wanna to talk to you about retirement. More importantly, that there are alternate routes for retirement plans. Some alternatives that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is a 401k plan and a pension plan. And the problem at hand today is gonna to be social security. So, according to Julia Kagan of investopedia.com, social security is an insurance program that workers pay into, but it also covers old age, benefits, and survivors. The same publication by Julia Kagan also explains to qualify for Social Security benefits, a worker must be at least 62 and have paid into the system for 10 years or more. This pay-as-you-go system works in theory as somewhat of a carousel. One person retires, another person jumps in to start paying into that retirement. In theory, this would work. However, a study by SSA.gov published by Stephen C. Goss states, the Social Security Board of Trustees program projects costs to rise by 2035 so that taxes will be enough to pay for only 75% of scheduled benefits. 75%. And we have a long way to go before retiring. 2035 is pretty far. And we won't even be retired by then. Folger wrote, baby boomers retire, the ranks of those receive benefits will swell while those paying taxes will become a smaller percentage of the population. So the problem is Social Security will deplete due to baby boomers, which force a higher tax rate. The problem has been identified. Now, what was the cause? Well, like I said, baby boomers. The explosion in population during the baby boomer era created a massive influx that was too large that threw off the balance of the pool of pay as you go. A study by SSA.gov and published by Stephen C. Goss states, this increased cost results from population aging, not because we are living longer, but because birth rates dropped from three to two children per woman. The cause here is stated perfectly by Gene Folger of Investopedia. Due to demographic change, there is a risk that the system will run short of money because less is being paid in than paid out. Americans are having fewer children and living longer, both contribute to an aging population, stated by Gene Folger. Furthermore, Folger wrote, as baby boomers retire, uh, those between, born between 1946 and 64, 2018, 16% of the population is 65 and over, and by 2060, it's estimated that it will rise to 23%. But at the same time, the working age population will be getting smaller from about 62% today to 57% in 2060. So I've explained to you the problem and the cause now we can explain a solution. So throw out that standard social security plan. We get to think about retirement now. And a retirement plan that you can start thinking about right now is 401k. Andrew Swinney posted to kasasa.com on February 12, 2020, a very simple explanation of a 401k retirement plan. A 401k is an employer sponsored retirement account and allows an employee to dedicate a percentage of their pre-tax salary to a retirement account. Basically, you put in money, and in the long run, you can pull it out as you retire. Some employers will match your 401k amount that you put in, and that will come in the back end. So once you're ready to retire, there's a large pool of money waiting for you at a uh, adjusted rate. Finelaw.com posted a comparison of Social Security versus 401k back on June 20th, 2016. They concluded when you retire, you can collect both Social Security retirement benefits, <clears throat> and distributions from your 401k simultaneously. The amount of money you save in 401k won't impact your monthly social security benefits 
since this is considered non-wage income. However, since your Social Security benefits increase if you delay your retirement, it may be beneficial to rely on 401k benefits earlier in retirement. Since the age of retirement is minimum 62 for Social Security benefits and the maximum payout doesn't get received until age 70. That's a long time to wait for retirement. And a second option that I want to tell you guys and urge is a pension. So certain careers will offer you pension plans. Miriam Caldwell of TheBalance.com on November 23rd, 2020 broke down the basics of a pension plan. Traditional pension plans are defined as benefit pension plans which guarantee that employees receive a certain amount upon retirement regardless of the investment's performance. This ensures that employees receive a predictable income each month they reach retirement age. So basically you have a fixed rate. So if I were a teacher, once I hit a certain point, my pension will pay me out a certain sum of a certain sum per month that I'm retired till I die. Emily Brandon on April 29, 2019 posted to money.usnews.com, most jobs no longer provide traditional pension plans that promise worker guaranteed income at retirement. Only 17% of private industry employees were offered a traditional pension plan in 2018, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics data. So I'm going to school to be a PE teacher and hopefully, eventually, a kinesiology professor. And the good part about that is, one, I could wear sweats and a sweater to work, but two, I have a pension and I have tenure, job security and retirement benefits. This is an excellent career choice and I'm not trying to persuade you to change your career path here, but I am trying to give you information that will help you in the future for retirement. Pension plans might not be as available as 401k, but there are still jobs that offer pensions, such as teachers, cops, public workers, uh, lawmen, um, nurses, military, etc. Just to name a few. So today I wanted to explain to you why you should throw out Social Security because it's not a guaranteed plan that works for the future versus something like a 401k or a pension plan. Now I understand not every single employer might be able to cover a pension plan, but 401ks pay as you go, just like Social Security, but you put in whatever you want to get out. So what I hope you guys can take today is there are better alternatives than Social Security that have a lot more safety than a failing plan. And I hope you guys stay safe, happy holidays, and thank you for your time.